Welcome back to Probability, Logic, and Beyond. In this video, we're going to go over the equation for Brownian motion, how to implement Brownian motion in Python, and the impact of scaling the drift and noise terms in the Brownian motion update equation. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the discretized update equation for geometric Brownian motion. It may look daunting, but it's actually quite simple. ST is the price process that we're simulating, and we can see from the equation that ST plus 1 is just a scaled version of ST, which is why this update equation is called geometric. There are two terms in this equation that matter. The first is the drift term. The drift term is responsible for the exponential growth or decay of the asset's price over time. Without the drift term, the expected value of the asset's price will remain constant over time. The volatility term is responsible for the random fluctuations in the asset's price. This component causes the jagged movements we see on price charts market-wide. This component generates noise by sampling from Z, which is an RV from a standard normal distribution, meaning it has mean 0 and variance 1. With geometric Brownian motion, the only two terms you need to remember are mu and sigma. Mu is responsible for the drift, and sigma is responsible for the noise. Now that we have a reasonable intuition behind the terms in the update equation, let's learn how to implement a sample path in Python. For this simulation, we only need the NumPy library. After importing it, let's set up some initial parameters for our simulation. The time horizon is the number of time periods we're going to simulate for. We're going to set this value to 252, as there are 252 trading days each year. We are considering daily price movements, so we're going to set the delta t value to 1. For the mu and sigma values, we'll set these values to values corresponding to a 5% annual drift and a volatility value of 0.01. Finally, we'll set the initial price to $152. Now that we've set up our initial parameters, we can move on to our simulation. We set our x-axis values to range from 0 to 252, and our y values to initially be all zeros. Then, we set the initial value of the y data, which will be our price data, to our initial price of 152. Finally, we iterate from 1 to the time horizon, updating the next value in our data using our Brownian motion update equation. This will give us just one sample pass using the parameters we've defined above. To be able to use the simulation data effectively, we need to have a good understanding of the impact of changing the drift and noise terms. Let's start with a mu and sigma value of 0, and then simulate a single sample pass. We can see that the sample pass is completely flat, as there is no noise or drift. The next value is just the previous value in the update equation. If we change the mu value to 20% per year, we can see that the price races up exponentially, and down exponentially for a mu value corresponding to negative 20% per year. With a mu value of 0, if we increase the sigma value to a modest 0.005, we can see that the generated sample paths are distributed around the initial price of 152, and stay within a reasonably tight range of the initial price. The yellow band represents the standard deviation of all of the sample paths for each parameter setting. If we double the sigma value to 0.01, the price process becomes much more noisy and is more likely to finish significantly higher or lower than the original price. Increasing the sigma value to 0.015 makes this even more apparent. If we activate both the parameters, we can see that the average price exponentially grows, but there are still many sample paths that stretch far below the starting price. This is symbolic of the risk that investors assume when buying assets. Even if the asset has a high chance of strong returns, the volatility of the asset adds variance and prevents investors from scoring a risk-free return. If we continue to modify these parameters, we can see that by increasing mu, we increase the expected return of the asset, and by decreasing sigma, we decrease the risk associated with holding the asset. In this video, we learned about the discretized update equation for geometric Brownian motion, and how the different parameters in the equation impact the movement of the asset. Next, we learned how to implement a simple sample pass simulator in Python. Finally, we visualized the impact of modifying the mu and sigma parameters on the behavior of the asset price over time. 
Geometric Brownian motion is an excellent starting point when it comes to the modeling of financial assets. In the future, we'll look into more comprehensive modeling techniques that factor in mean reversion, unexpected jumps, and regime changes. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel for more content on probability, logic, and beyond.